Hey, what's going on everybody? My name's Dr. P and welcome back today for another video right here on the channel. Thank you so much for stopping back by. Now today what I thought I would do is look at your guys' suggestions, your guys' comments that you've left in my previous videos, go over them, see what you guys have to say about what's going on, because truthfully there is so much happening and we just need to get a sense of what everyone is thinking. That's really the best way to come up with new theories. Hopefully you enjoy the video, drop a like down below and subscribe if you're new, I'd really appreciate that. And if you're ever buying anything in the item shop, throw my code PINEAPPLESYT in there for the support of creator section, send me a screenshot and I'll get you in a video just like these guys. So over the course of the past few days, I've uploaded videos talking about the volcano's eruption, talking about Kevin the Cube returning, and a whole lot more. I've gone through the comments of all of these videos, taken some of the most interesting ones, going to talk about them here in this video. Just to give you a very brief rundown on a couple of these things, number one, it's speculated Kevin the Cube is going to return because of purple smoke surrounding the volcano as well as a butterfly literally being in the center of the volcano. As you know, the butterfly is a big symbol of Kevin the Cube. We had a whole event based around it. Here's a comment from MLG Fox and he says, wait, the rainbow that was over Loot Lake when Kevin the Cube blew up is back. The rainbow is back. So that means maybe Kevin is coming back. That's a great point, and I hadn't even realized this when I talked about that rainbow in yesterday's video. Yes, there is a rainbow in the sky, uh, assumingly for St. Patrick's Day, but you never know. With Epic Games, they often have double meanings for stuff. Here is the rainbow, and it's interesting because I got a tweet from Aiden, who went to creative mode, went to the island, and you can clearly see from this position, the rainbow is going from the volcano all the way to Polar Peak. Ironically enough, these are like the two biggest points of this season, the battle between the Fire King and the Ice King. And of course, the comment was right. Back when Kevin the Cube destroyed itself uh, with the butterfly event back in season six, there was a rainbow that was left above the sky. So of course, the only other time we've seen a rainbow in the game was when Kevin just blew up. So, of course, we do have that rainbow, which looks to be some kind of a hint, I would say, and we still do have this butterfly sitting in the middle of the volcano. Now, it's not always visible because it does pulse in and out, but if you look at this, you can tell that at certain points, it does look like a butterfly is right in the middle of this volcano, which, of course, is very interesting, and we all know what the butterfly means. Only seen it, like, one other time before, and it's interesting, too, because all of the rifts that have been in the game since Season 5, I think, when they came out, they also look like butterflies. So, I mean, in a way, the butterfly was hinted in Season 5, the event happened in Season 6, and at this point, I'm sensing kind of a recurring pattern, uh, and I definitely would expect something to come out of that volcano and there's a good chance it could be something related to Kevin the Cube. Okay, so moving on. Of course, you guys know Season 8 involves Pirates, the Fire King, and the Ice King. That was what was in the cinematic cutscene when Season 8 first started. It's a clear struggle between these three sides. If you'll remember, the theme for this season, like the main motto is X marks the spot. And of course, with Pirates being here and with a tropical theme, I'm guessing there's some kind of treasure somewhere on the map, right? Like, that's my guess. It seems to be pretty evident, in fact, if you look at the cinematic cutscene that we had to start this season, at the end of it, all three of the sides I previously mentioned met up at one spot, and they were fighting over a treasure chest. So, clearly, it looks like the pirates came here because they knew something was of value on the map. The Fire King and the Ice King must have found that out too, and now they're duking it out over who gets to keep this treasure. But the question is, what is it? Like, what are they fighting over? I feel like we're gonna have to wait until the end of the season to figure out truthfully what's going on here, but of course, we can speculate a little bit. There is a helicopter that has randomly appeared on the map, and it's going around to the edges of the map, visiting different spots and moving almost every day. No one really knows who is responsible for moving or flying this helicopter, and there's not a whole lot of clues to suggest what it could be or who it could be. There are big rumors going around that it is the government, like the Fortnite government. Like, I'm not exactly sure what that means, but just some, you know, official authorities, I guess, within the game, trying to spy on the whole conflict going on between the Ice King, the Fire King, and the Pirates. I saw this comment from Rohan, and he says, I think the government wants the treasure. I can't believe I didn't think of that. That's awesome. I appreciate it, Rohan. But essentially, it makes perfect sense. If there is a treasure that's being fought over by these three sides, of course, 
Fire King prisoner, pirates, and then an outside party learns that there's a huge treasure here. Like, I feel like they would want to get in on that and try and intercept it if at all possible. So it could be that whoever is driving this helicopter is just trying to find the treasure before anyone else does. I also saw this one by one sub with no videos, nice one, and he says, I think whoever is spying on us is the challenge skin. Of course, by challenge skin, he means the discovery skin that will be unlockable later this season. Every season for the past four or five seasons has had an unlockable skin that you can get just by completing the weekly challenges. We don't know what it is yet. We do know it's called the discovery skin, so kind of makes sense. They're trying to discover the location of the treasure. I feel like this guy, the discovery Discovery skin, whatever he ends up being, or her, could play a seriously huge role in this whole conflict. I mean, let's go down the line of these challenge skins, and you'll just see how important they are. Last season, we had the Prisoner, obviously a huge focal point, not only for Season 7, but this season. Before that, we had AIM, obviously, who was scouting out the area for the Iceberg to hit. Then you had the Enforcers, who had to restore time, and of course, before that, the Visitor, who of course launched the rocket. So as you can see, there's a theme going on here. All these skins tend to play big roles in the storyline, and based on the name alone, Discovery, I'm anticipating something big. I want to go back to this comment for just a second. It says, I think whoever's spying on us is the Discovery skin. If so, it wouldn't be the very first instance of a skin especially a challenge skin, spying on people before it actually arrives. Remember this loading screen from Season 6? Yeah, this is AIM, and if you remember, he arrived to the map three or four weeks before he was ever even, like, available to unlock, so clearly they were planning something around him, and that might be very much the case with what's going on right now with the helicopter. So, a new weapon is coming to Fortnite very soon. It is called the Flintlock Pistol, and you can see Blackheart here holding it very clearly. Now, if you pay attention to what else is also in this loading screen, you can see the Ember skin on the right holding some kind of a bow and arrow. If that pistol has been here the entire time through Season 8 so far, and it just got announced as a weapon, it's probably fair to assume at some point that crossbow or bow and arrow, I don't think it's a crossbow because we've had that before in the game, but that bow and arrow should be coming to the game at some point. The flintlock pistol is supposed to be a pretty sturdy firearm, but it's going to have a lot of kick, at least that's according to the official description from Epic Games. It's strange because we're getting a pistol, yet I'm really excited about it, and we're also probably going to be getting that bow and arrow, and I'm also excited about it. I mean, when would you ever take a bow and arrow into a gunfight? I don't think you would ever do that IRL, but in Fortnite, of course, you know, there's a lot wilder things that have happened. So during an event this weekend, there was a leaked trailer that actually showed a new game mode coming to Fortnite called Detonation, Attack vs. Defend. Essentially, it's a game mode that's going to have two objectives on the map with the defending team tasked with defending their objective for 10 minutes. The other team, likewise, is going to have to attack the objective and see if they can destroy you within the time limit and then I'm assuming you'll switch sides and do the same thing. The trailer actually looks really cool, and this is a game mode unlike anything Fortnite has ever done. It's almost not even Fortnite, but I'm really excited to try it out and give it a chance. I mean, I know a lot of people don't typically like to play these kind of game modes, and if you're a hardcore Fortnite fan, you're going to want to prefer the normal gameplay, but I, you know, like, just give it a shot. What's the harm in giving it a shot? I think it could be really cool. Definitely be sure to leave your thoughts in the comments about anything I said in this video, whether it's the new game mode, something you want to add about Kevin the Cube coming back, the volcano, any possible plan for what the Discovery skin might be. There's so much stuff we covered, and truthfully, like I said, and like I proved in today's video, your comments really do mean the world to me. I read them all, and if you guys want to see me do more videos like this where I go to my comments and feature a lot of you guys, kind of answer your questions and give you guys a feel of what's going on, definitely let me know because I would be open to that. If you're new around here and you like the video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. We're on the road to 500k, and each and every one of you guys can help me get there a little quicker. I want to genuinely thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. And until then, guys, take it easy. And peace out.